Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Secret of Evermore. Last time we made our way through the castle and then to the chessboard, and now we're going through a god awful and horrid maze. Yeah, because last maze wasn't bad enough. So here you have a choice you can go left or you can go right. If you want to get out of here, go left. If you want to get an alchemy formula that's okay, you can just go right. So because I do want to get all the alchemy formulas in the game, um, I'm going to go right. Anyway, just keep on going through here. It's actually, like, it's it's a hard maze. I'm not going to lie to you, but if you get a map off of VG Maps, or if you have the strategy guide like I do, it's not completely terrible. Oh, I gained a level there as I got knocked into next week. Last week, or last screen, as it uh turns out. Die! Man, they're dealing a lot of damage to me. Huh. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I want to go this way. And then keep on going. Ignore that path. And then from here, let's see, down. Keep going. Come on. Get him, Kringle. Eh, I could just ignore him, too. That works. It's as well as can be expected. Okay, so here, uh, let's see. I want to go left. Get him. Bam! Ooh, what do we have? Oh, nectar. Yeah, I have plenty of nectar. Whoa! Oh, look at that! 91 damage from these guys? Are you kidding me? And I have, like, the best, um, armor that you could get, too. And they're still dealing that much damage to me? Thank God for double drain. Man, you really need it. I could cast defend to get me through here, but... Eh, I don't care that much. Why am I only dealing so little damage to them? Eh, oh well. Run for your lives! All the way through here. Yeah, ignore that guy, whatever. And by following my path, we finally make it to the alchemist. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Nowheresville! Ooh! What is it? One up. What does it do? Yeah, you use it just before you lose all your hit points, and you'll regenerate at full power. So you could use this as, like, a healing spell... Um, you could also use it as kind of a life 3 spell, so it's actually kind of nice. Uh, it costs a feather and a root, so it's not even all that expensive. You could use it um, maybe during like a really hard boss fight later on in the game. I might stick it on me, but for right now, I'm not going to. Instead, I'm going to put escape on, on my guy. Um, let's see. He does sell ingredients, but his ingredients are ridiculous ridiculously expensive and he still doesn't sell any vinegar in case you needed that and then for whatever reason my screen like really brightened up there so what you want to do now is escape get the hell out of here yeah go all the way back to the beginning and we're going to start this maze all over again Woohoo! okay so um let's see now we want to go left now, the key to this maze as you're going through here is to check the trees. Notice that little goblin up there? He's, like, right next to the boy. Do you see him right there? I'm kind of moving on top of him. If that goblin is on the screen, that means that you are on the correct path. So there he was again. There he is yet again. So I am going the correct way. The game does not tell you this, though, because the game's a rat bastard. God forbid the, ga God forbid the game ever tells you anything useful. Man, you have all these people in town, you got a billion things to say, but they won't tell you how to get through this god-awful maze? Like, seriously? It's just kind of weird. Okay, let's see, we're gonna go take a right-hand path, there's the goblin again. And I'm kind of over this area already, I mean, I just started, but I'm already over it, so we're just gonna try to go through as fast as humanly possible, take this path here, to the left. And let's see, we're gonna go down... And then there's that little goblin guy again. Go over. And go down. Okay, perfect. We're making our way through here. Let's see, zip all the way down through here. And I'm trying to look at a map at the same time that I'm doing this. Let's see, I want to go that way. Then over here, yeah, I want to go down. And then now we're going to be going... If you go right here, it will lead to a dead end. But it's not all that long of a dead end, so don't worry about it. You have Kringle Kill stuff. Hey, I'm good on it. Now here, you don't want to go down. That will lead to a much longer dead end. Here you want to take a right. 
and from here on it's pretty much going to be straight forward. I wish that that save point guy told you to like look for the little goblin, but he just saves your game, so yeah, no such luck there. Oh well. So what we're trying to do is head towards Ebon Keep, which is the dirty town that the queen doesn't like for whatever reason. And uh, yeah, once we get there, we're going to lower the drawbridge so that she can storm the castle and force everyone to live under her clean rule. I don't know. I've already damaged this guy. Let's go ahead and kill him. Come on, Kringle. Woohoo! Okay, well, with that, we've made it through the, uh, this half of the harvest, at least. Whoa! What are they doing? What's going on here? The Shapeshifter's Bridge. Oh no, look, he looks just like me! Holy crap! Yikes! Okay, first things first, let's go ahead and get a speed going on both of us. That way we can dodge all of his attacks. Let's see how well a crush does against him. Huh! Not half bad. Um, you could throw a spear at him because he does have everything that you have. He has access to alchemy spells. He has access to things like crush, um, and some other buffs and stuff like that. So, um, but the one thing that he doesn't have access to, yeah, he has access to heal. Um, one thing that he doesn't have access to is a throwing spear. So you do have that advantage over him. But now that we've killed him, yeah, here he is again. Lucky us. Thankfully, because my speed level... God, get over here! Because my speed level has um, improved, the spell is... is... Uh, acid Rain. Is, um... Bam! Yeah. The spell is staying for a lot longer than it used to. Let's see. Um, I want to use... Where is it? Double Drain. Might as well get some damage in while I'm healing. And let's go ahead and recast speed on both of us. Okay. Bam! Maybe I can, like, just hold him over here. Yeah, this is perfect. He's not going to be able to go anywhere, and he's not going to be able to attack me either, because I have speed. So, yeah. Yikes! Ooh, that's one way for him to get the uh, advantage on me. But we'll double drain him. Probably have to double drain him twice. Yeah, I'm going to double drain him until I actually get fully healed. Only to have to fight him yet again! Yay! Huh! Bam! I wonder if we could, like, corner him in there. This stone circle reminds me of something out of Outlander. Whoa! Nitro! Holy crap! If I recall correctly, Nitro is the most powerful attack spell in the game. Um, but you get it so late in the game that, like, you would never really level it up or use it whenever you have crush and double drain and some other better stuff like why bother get over here i feel like like putting the um oh there goes that nitro again i feel like putting the dog on a higher whoa the dog really needs to be healed um the dog on a higher attack level since he's taking a sweet time actually attacking the uh the shadow boy there bam so each clone has 1,000 HP, so the HP level isn't exactly the highest thing I've ever seen. Um, but because they do have alchemies and such, they are, you know, you do have to be on the lookout for them. And we finally, finally get an upgrade to our weapon with the Mighty Crusader Sword up to 38. And what was I at? Oh, 32, so it's, it's okay, but remember... We have the um, the sword sheath, which increases. Oh, hey there! Which increases our sword attack power by twenty five percent. Oh, well, that's true. I did fight off three of my guys. Yes, please. Oh man! You have anything else to say? Okay, yeah, no. He's pretty much just a save point. Okay, so now. We're not done. Oh wow, you dealt a lot of damage to him. Let's see if we can't just finish him off since uh dealt so much damage to him that one time. Let's I get I, I guess I could crush him. Yeah, and the screen's back to being dark again too, so whatever. Whoa! 703 damage with a crush? 
That's crazy. Here, again, there are two things that you can do. Um, you could just go straight to the exit, or you can go up here, and you can get a secret item. Actually, to get to the exit, you have to go up here anyway. I don't even know why I said that, because we're actually on the right path. <laughs> oh, well. Go down there, and you can go to the end of the dungeon. But go over here, and uh, yeah. This is the Oglin that we freed last time from the well. Rem if you did not free him from the well, this would not happen. Oh, well, I didn't have to, but I'm a nice kid. Ooh, and for doing so, we get the wizard's coin. This, I was mistaken last time, this is the last uh, rare item of the game, the wizard's coin. So this is going to increase my magical defense. I don't know why they don't give you stuff for these last four slots. It's kind of crappy, but eh, whatever. So my magical defense is finally up, and now we're back to a bright screen again. That's unusual. If you've already gotten the wizard's coin, he will just give you 1,000 coins. There is a way to get the wizard's coin. If you talk to that mad monk way back in Nobilia and you give him the 10,000 jewels, and then he gives you the um, the uh, the chocobo egg and the amulet of annihilation, then you go and you spend the amulet of annihilation, then you go back to him and you give him 10,000 more jewels, he will then give you, I want to say the magic gourd as well as the wizard's coin it might just be the wizard's coin though i've never actually done that before because it's absolutely ridiculous so yeah i wouldn't recommend doing that okay so go all the way down then let's see go right we're almost through with this place this second part is not as uh as bad as the first part okay so here we want to oh what do we have Ooh, 100 gold coins you're still dealing so much damage to me. Man. Maybe I will cast the defend spell. Um, at least on the boy. The dog seems to have plenty of evasion. But the boy seems to need as much defense as he can possibly get. Like, come on. Okay, so up here we have a path over here to the left that I want to take. And then up. And that should be the last screen of... Damn you! Okay, that's it. Both of you are dying. I'm going to double drain both of you. I need the healing anyway. And now I'm going to crush you to death because I am sick to death of you. Bastards. Screw you. Whoa. Whoa. What's going on now? Yikes. Here we have boss time against the Thunder Drake himself. So as usual, let's go ahead and put a speed on. And let's see, I already have the defend on. Uh, let's see how well Crush does. Hey, not bad. Dealing like 500 damage. And then he's just going to sit there. This is perfect. Um, I think I'm going to alternate attacking and crushing since Crush just deals so much damage. It's a shame to not use it. And he likes to use Fireball against us. And if that's the case, then I definitely want to make sure that I'm healing especially the dog because the dog does have much lower magical defense than the boy um, my defend wore off not that it really matters but crush is the way to go if you notice crush against the um the shadow boys didn't all didn't deal all that much damage but crush against this this guy is just slaughtering it it's like you're playing Secret of Mana again with the sprite and just murdering the bosses. Ooh, I got fully healed. Sweet. I deserve to get fully healed. And we get the Lance! Wow! What was the purpose of even getting the Crusader Sword? We literally just got it. And now we have the Lance. And did we skip the Axe? Like, am I missing something? Yeah, we never even got the Axe. Normally it goes Sword, Axe, then Spear. But, like, we just got the sword. One boss ago. Hell, we're not even out of the dungeon that we got the sword in. We should have gotten the sword a lot earlier in the game. That's just weird, if you ask me. Where are we at now? What is this? Huh. A barrier. Probably need the axe to bust down that barrier there. Oh. Yay. Sewers. Yeah. There is a reason... Why I normally would always quit the game around this time. Um, between the dog maze, 
and the forest maze. Like, oh, this world, my god. Like, I like it. I like the setting of the world. I like the medieval area of the world. But these dungeons, these dungeons are just something else. Could you, like, die sometime this century? Like, my god. Uh, a lot of these areas, or a lot of these pipes, are blocked off by barricades, so just be careful where you're going. And down here, right here, there is a super secret passage. So let's go ahead and take that and get some treasure. Okay, awesome. More ingredients that I either have way too much of or I just don't need. That's lovely. Uh, let's see, from here, I want to go left, I want to go up, over. I'm looking at a map. Um... Oddly enough, there's not a map of this dungeon in the strategy guide. There's not a map of the other sewer in the strategy guide either. It just says, oh, this sewer isn't so bad, you can make yourself through it. Like, they obviously haven't made the sewer dungeons that I've played if they think that sewer dungeons aren't good. Like, have they lost their minds? <laughs> I've played some horrid sewer dungeons. But anyway, come over here. At least we get some ash. Well, some pixie dust, because we can't carry any more ash, but it's there. Uh, I think that that's the last secret passage in this sewer, so now let's just make our way, uh, make a beeline towards the exit. What is it in my- get away from me! Kringle, could you, like, attack this thing and kill it? My god, thank you! Obviously the boy in a spear just isn't working, isn't doing anything. Uh, left is a complete dead end, so don't worry about it. And there we are. Wow, I'm getting a lot of junk that I just can't use. But with that, we have made our way to the end of this, this sewer. Urgh! Die! Man! I hate sewers. I hate them so much. Ugh. And now we're in a dungeon? Huh. Uh-oh. With spiders! Lions and tigers and spiders. Oh my! But I don't think that there's any, like, treasures to be had in this, uh... In this particular dungeon. Just, um, you know, some more monsters that don't really belong in this world. Huh. A locked door. Well, that sucks. What does this thing do? Anything? Oh, no. Must not be anything at all. So let's keep on going on and open up these uh, cells here and defeating whatever enemies we come across. Let's just open all of them. Why not? It's not like they're hard, and this time I have the dog and the boy with me. I could just crush these guys to death if I wanted to. There we go. Let's see what else we have here. There's another cell. Whoa! Another one of these guys! Yikes! But they can deal a ton of damage. And if they start doing that, let's just make sure we get a double drain going on them. Ooh! Got level 3 with my double drain. Nice! Let's double drain him some more. Because if he hits you with his little bullet, like, you're... You're, you're, you're going to get hit for quite a bit of damage there. Uh, yeah. It's just easier. Ooh, gained a level two. And Crinkle gained a level as well. Awesome. So now we can go through here, and now we've emerged in Ebon Keep, which looks exactly like Ivor Tower, just darker. But we're going to be exploring this town next time on Let's Play Secret of Evermore. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.